Off to the telephones, because we've got Big Um in Manchester. Hello, Big Um. Dinky do, Scotty. Your first initial's not E, is it? No. No, it's not E, Big Um. No. All ah, right. Ah, just checking, lass. It's T. T, because we've got, no, it's just we've got Yorkshire on at the moment, and Big Um is sort of something else to them. Right. You know, ah, Big Um. I'm a first-time caller. No, you're a second-time caller. Oh, yeah, I called before, yeah. Of course you did. Heavens yeah. above, do you not remember calling McClue? Oh, it was so ages ago, I forgot. And you've forgotten it's gone right out of your head. Yes. You're pretty switched on, though, aren't you? Yeah. Eh? I'm a first-time caller. Oh, no, sorry, I've not rang you before. Sorry <laughs> about that. No problem, Begum. I wanted to talk about television. Television, um, Begum. I was wondering, why are you so against the television? Why do you not like the television? It's not I don't like the television. I love the television. The problem with television is, one... They think they can beat McClue by beefing up the schedules, putting on big films and all that, right? Yes. And they can't. It's as simple as that. You can't beat McClue by beefing up the television because this is quality, real live entertainment. Right. Right? So that's the first thing. It's nothing to do with not liking the television. It's a disapproval of the way television is going. Television's remit is to inform, educate, and entertain. That's its remit. Right. Right? Now... Do you think it's doing that? Do you think it's informing you? Do you think it's educating you? And do you think it's entertaining you? It does educate you in some ways. Like what? Like um, the uh, revision bite size that comes on at um, BBC Two. Right, right. So in other words, what you're saying is the old open university stuff. Yes. Yes, but the rest of it. Do you think? Do you think it's all clever entertainment? Do you think it's good no, for no, the no, children? No, no, the rest of it. No, it isn't. See, so you know, you agree with me, really, don't you? Yes. It's not a question of me being against television. It's a question of people on Eddington sure we're using it properly. Yes. Right. I was wondering if you could put the Scotty Mega Mix on. I will do later, my dear. I am so busy tonight. Right. Can you say it by my name, please? I can say it by my name? Right. I can say it by you? Yes. By my name? Yes. Yes, Big Um. Yes, thanks. All for right. Me. Okay, e bag um. e bag um. e bag Right, now, Brenda from Stoke. Hey, well done, lass. Are you all right? Are you all right, love? You got on in time tonight, didn't you? Well, you did say five past ten. I said five past ten we'd get you on, and uh, we're a bit late. It's 13 minutes past. Yeah. But it's not bad, is it? No, not bad. Now then, give about, us your crack, love. About the blokes. The blokes. Yeah. Domestic violence. Yeah, I'll off, do it for you. Off with the chuckies. Yeah. Yep. I'll do it. Just, there you go, just one swish. Oh, no, it should have to be slow. Oh, it'd have to be slow? Yeah. Do you think it's a good idea, though? Because, you see, we're a bit soft in this country, aren't we? Well, my first husband was like that, so I'd be willing to do it. You what, love? My first husband was like that, so I'd be willing to do it. Right, so if it became law that if somebody was accused of hitting the missus, you could chop off the chucks? Yeah. You'd be on for that, Brenda? Yeah, I'd be right for doing it. You'll be right for doing it, love. Yeah. Oh, you're a bloodthirsty woman. You've right. heard that before. Uh, did I? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you tell people about my personal life. <laughs> right, I want to tell you about my lobby. Your lobby, love? Yeah, when yes. you're on about your tater ash and your scouse, what's it? What, down at the Houses of Parliament? No. Have you been lobbying? Yeah. Get your stew, beef. What, what's this for? When you were on about your tater ash last night. Oh, last you... night, the tater ash? Yeah, and your scouse, what's it? And what are you trying to, to feed us on? This is Stoke Content Lobby. Lobby. How lobby. do you spell it? L O B B Y, I think. A ball of lobby. Yeah, you just lob everything in. <laughs> <laughs> so what you do is when you're you're trying to tap off with somebody at the dancing, you say, Do you wanna come up to my house for some lobby? No, don't say that. My husband's in bed inside of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So there you are. A bowl of lobby. Yeah. And what goes in the lobby, love? You brown your meat first. You you brown your meat? Yeah. Right. And how do you brown your meat? I know how some people brown their meat, but how do you brown your meat? Stick it in a pan. Right. Put it on a high heat. A hot pan? A, a hot pan? Yeah. Right. A thick pan, though. Like a pressure cooker. Now, wait a minute. Just listen, nation. But Brenda's telling us how to brown your meat. <laughs> <laughs> right, love, because it's very important to do it properly, isn't it? You don't put sausages in. <laughs> you know? I mean, some of the lads that ring you haven't got a clue, love. So, um, go on. You brown it fast, then you turn the heat down, put a lid on top or a plate, and the condensation off the top, the meat will cook in its own juices. Do you put a little, do you put a little uh, uh, 
sort of some sort of lubricant in before no. you brown your meat? No. A little bit of all. little bit of uh, oil or no, nothing. No? Just keep stirring it so it doesn't stick. Because you don't want it to stick, love. No, it doesn't stick if you keep stirring it. Right. Because if it sticks, obviously, It'll it, burn. It, you could ruin it, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Mm. You could ruin your meat altogether. Turn it down, then, so that the condensation hits the lid, and that brings the juices down, the liquid down. What, the the juices from your meat? Yeah. Right. As the, as the steam hits the lid, it comes down. As you steam your... As the steam hits the lid. So is this, if you've got a steamer? No, all you need is put a lid on, or a plate on top. So you don't need to you you don't no, have to have a steamer it. to brown the meat. No, no. Just a, just straight in. Yeah. Okay. And then when you've got a bit of liquid in the bottom, off its own juices. A bit of liquid in your bottom, right? Off. This Dice is off. Dice your onions. This is off the 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 juices from your meat. Yeah. Right. Dice your onions. Dice your onions. Onions, right? And carrots. Throw them in. Let that cook a bit with your lid on again. Now wait a minute. After you've diced them. Yeah. How long do you how long do you do them for? About fifteen minutes. And how long did you say you browned your meat? Just just until it's brown. Yeah, yeah, right. until it goes a bit soft. Till it goes soft. Yeah. Right. So you brown your meat till it's it like goes the soft. The outside coating of the meat. Right. Then when you've done your carrots and your onions. And do you take your meat out when it's nice and brown? No, no leave it in. Leave it in. Yeah. Right. Put your carrots and onions in. Leave it in when it's soft. Yeah. Yeah. Put your lid back on or your plate. Leave that for about 15 minutes, but stir it in between. Then put carrots, stir turnips and parsnips in, but you must put water in Stir now. your whole mix. Pardon? You stir your whole mix. Yeah. Keep stirring. Stir your meat as well. Yeah. yeah. Right. Put uh, turnips and parsnips in. Leeks and celery. Well, that's a lot of stuff to put in, isn't it, love? That's why it's called lobby. You just throw anything in. God. You throw what you want in. Right. If you don't like, you leave out. If you don't like it, leave it out. Yeah. Yeah. And throw what you want in. And do you have to? Do you have to have your meat in, or could you have just your two veg? No, you put your meat in. Right. Leave it all in. You put your meat and two veg in. Yeah, meat yeah. and two veg. Right. Or three veg or four veg. As many as many veg as you think the, the, the people can take. Yeah, whatever yeah. you want. Sprouts, anything. Sprouts? Yeah, even sprouts. But don't put sprouts in until the last ten minutes. Ah, because I was thinking your sprouts would do quick. Yeah, no, last ten minutes sprouts. Two oxos. Uh, two, two oxen? Oxos. All right. I'm advertising. Two oxen, <laughs> love. Right, we'll send you the bill. <laughs> and a yoke? No. Because all, ox all oxen have a yolk, love. Dice your taters. Dice. Leave it till the last 15 minutes and put your taters in. Put your teeth in, did you say? Yeah, put taters in. Right. And then... Just potatoes! Sorry, I thought you said you put your teeth in. Potatoes. I wondered sorry. if this was getting ready to eat. Potatoes. Right, your potatoes. Your... Kevin here said taters. He says taters. Yeah, he says taters. It's right, taters. not your tatters. <laughs> you have to dice them, but not too small. And then just simmer it slowly until your taters are cooked. Right. Cooked taters. Yeah. And then you season it to what you want. What? What? Summer or winter? Salt and pepper. Oh, no, sorry. Like season I'm with you now. Salt and pepper. Yes. Bit of soya sauce. Bit of soya? Yeah. Yes. Is, it, is that soya sauce or soy sauce? Soya sauce. Soy sauce. So yeah. soya as in soya bean. You're taking the mick out of me, aren't no, you? No, I certainly am not, love. You are. I think you're taking the mick. <laughs> no, not at all, love. Well, I used to make tater ash because I'm from Oldham originally. Oban? Oldham. Oldham? Yes. I thought you said Oban in Scotland, love. No, Oldham. I thought you were taking the mick out of me for a minute there. No, I'm not from up there. I'd like to go fishing up there. You've gone fishing, love? No, I'd like to go fishing up there. Yeah, because it's, it smells quite strongly of fish up there, doesn't it? I don't know. I've never been up. Oh, have you never? Have you no. never been up, love? No. Oh, you haven't lived till you've been up, love. The smell of fish is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's after tonight. That's why he's here. It's hard on me. Is he? Is he after? I'll take the bones out first, love. <laughs> you have to take the bones out first, Kevin. You got to take the bones out, Kev. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Off with the heads and tails. He's after one, two, buckle me shoe. He will be, love. I tell you. <laughs> he is. That's what he's waiting for. Can you keep on another hour? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I can keep you on for three hours, love. <laughs> I am the best contraceptive in the country, you know. Oh, I don't need them. You don't need them with no, me, love, no. 
Oh, I don't know about that, love. Yeah, I'm past that. Oh, look what happened last week with the Prime Minister. I know, but I can't have any anyway, so... Well, so you tell me. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's that. So, and then what do you do? You shove it in for a final... A final ton? No. No, that's it you ready? It when it's ready. Just gobble it all up? Well, you save half till the day after. Plenty of bread. Dip your bread in it. Dip your bread, love? Yeah, dip your bread. And then save it till the day after? Yeah, whatever's left. And you can freeze it. Oh, it'll smell gorgeous. Yeah, you can freeze it. You can freeze it, love? Yeah, you can freeze it. Is that the best thing for it, do you think? If you've only left, it saves wasting it. Yeah. Yeah, so you're freezing it after your meat's gone soft. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, then. Right. Hey, that's brilliant, love. You know how to enjoy yourself, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I better, let, five minutes. I better let you get on with your <laughs> private life, love. So have a cup of tea and get yourself ready. Get your you're baby in dog. bed. Are you in bed, love? Yeah. Have you got your colours and your face back on? Oh, no, I don't be out like that. Oh, you don't wear out like that? No, I'm fat and ugly, but he still enjoys it. I bet he does, love. <laughs> hey, all the best, you dinky-do. <laughs> dinky-do. Thanks, darling. Night-night. Night-night. Night. Night. la Scotty McClue's late-night phone-in. Have you phoned yet? Dinky-do. 